Today I want to talk about the power of small focused tasks. I think something I've discovered for myself is that it's super easy to respond to one person. When I get a comment or an email from someone, I have no trouble writing writing tons and, and getting really clear on everything I have to say to that individual. And and there's just no there's no resistance. It's so clear that it, the dynamic of what I'm doing, which is simply responding to a person's question or suggestion or insight. But when I try to create something for the world for a bigger audience it's always it's always so much tougher even though when i'm sharing uh, even though the thing i write for one person can be seen by many when i when my audience changes in my mind to a whole group of unknown people it becomes so much tougher for me to communicate what i want to say and i know that that has some something to do with um the the uncertainty of how I might be perceived by whoever might see that and and the mass effect of of anybody might come in contact with it and they might have a specific judgment or make a specific assumption about me that may negatively negatively impact me in some way and I want to find for myself a way to work through that a way where I can I can just release that that sort of expectation that it's my duty to not upset the group or not not um, that that's my job to to make sure that I'm not made fun of because there's people are going to react how they're going to react to whatever but if I use how they might react to slow me down, then I'm really hindering myself. Then I'm allowing other people to dictate what it is I do or do not share. And that doesn't need to be, and I know that that doesn't need to be, yet every day I brush up against fears that I'm not yet ready to tackle um, in terms of things that I could do, but things I don't have to do, and, and so I don't do them. Like I could... Um, there's more I could write, there's more I could share. Not that I'm holding back any one specific thing, but I have different ideas that I don't put out there because of the work that might have to go around to creating something that doesn't look bad. Um, and that's an insight right there. If I could just, perhaps I need to give myself more permission to look badly again. Because if I'm, on, if I'm afraid to write something because I can't get it perfect or I can't... Um, put it out there in a way that it's going to be received well, then I'm still being held back by a fear of looking badly. And so that's something that's going to change. I'm going to find more ways to write something under a severe time crunch and publish it in places other than my blog, because I'm, I'm pretty comfortable publishing things on my blog, but other places, and, and letting people see shitty writing, if that's what comes out, or incomplete writing or incomplete ideas and, and allowing them to judge them and allowing them to judge me. And and so getting back to the, the, the small focused task, if I, I think the reason I've been stopping myself is if I put something out there like I've been wanting to put more, I've been wanting to get better at selling myself to the world in terms of um, being able to persuade people that what I have to offer is a value and to, to do that to either land a position working with a company that would allow me to to um, innovate and create and face my fears and, and make a difference that way and have a re regular interaction with people because we spend so much of our time at work for those for the people who work full time do at least um, and and if, if if people could spend 40 hours a week with me I just I can't even imagine how profound of an impact I might have on people from just being regularly exposed to me for that length of period of time. I think I could do tremendous, I could make a tremendous difference in people's lives. And they would, in turn, what, how would it affect me to be around other people for, for 40 hours a week? I mean, that, that would be, it, it would be, I think it would be great fun just because of how much I enjoy interacting with other people. And so, when I when I when I think about 
presenting myself in a certain light, and then I think about how it might be perceived and how, um, and and I think about it in a way that's like, okay, I don't want to mess up how I'm perceived. I don't want to. I don't want to have. I don't want to take the possibility of me getting a job somewhere, the possibility of me starting a new service that connects with people and, and allows me to stay afloat financially that way. I don't want those opportunities to be messed up, so I hold myself back from doing them. But really, that's the wrong tactic. The, the thing going in my mind there is that I'm doing this to get this, and that creates a specific outcome that I can then mess up that then carries with it a specific fear of I don't want to mess this up, which holds me back and ends up that I never ship anything. I never put anything out there. And so I'm not seen at all, and I just remain hidden. And instead of doing that, I want to look at, if I can just remember to look at it differently and see it from a light of, of this is me putting my, um, this is me, this is me taking an opportunity to look badly and running with it and saying, who cares if I look badly? Knowing that if I look badly one day, that's going to only added uh, motivation or inspiration to look better the next day. And so that's that's something I want to to put out there for myself because I feel like I've been laxing on on what I could be doing. I feel like I'm not uh, my, my biggest strides in in this experiment have come in the early days, and now I'm just sort of coasting. And and I know that I'm not out of ideas, that I'm not out of things I could do. I'm just not. I'm just looking at it in a slightly twisted way where I'm not trying to sort of mess up the momentum I've already created. And that's not what this is about. This is about taking chances and risks and seeing where it takes me. And, and this is a rededication of that. And I feel like I've slipped a little. And I want to call myself out on that. And I want to hopefully, I don't know, maybe, may, I don't know if this video is something that makes me look bad or not. But, but I, just want, I definitely want to call myself out on that, and I want to give myself the opportunity to really commit on a whole new level of, of looking badly and risking rejection. And when I give myself permission to commit even on a higher level, who knows what might go down. It could get, it could get a little crazy. I think it will get a, little, a lot of fun. Um, and so that's the challenge I'm putting out to myself. Take, take your ability to handle fall, small focused tasks and make it the small focused task of looking badly again. Don't worry about the big stuff, about what you will hope to get out of it in the end or hope where you want to end up because that will just distract you. And I'm talking to myself now. Um, that will just distract you from, from the potential that you have and, and where you want to go. So focus on that small task of, of working through your fear of looking badly and, and, and shipping things and being out there and risking that ridicule and and you know you know you'll be great you know you know you'll be fine you know you can handle it you know you'll transform any negative feedback you get into positives because that's the way your mind works so there's nothing to worry about so focus on that small task of of, of putting yourself out there and who cares how you look but, but do it every day. Do it every day. Find a way to get yourself out there. Find a way to, to increase your exposure to the world and the world's exposure to you. And, and, and mix it up and see what happens. And risk that contrast. Thank you.